How's everybody doing? The channel is Let's Turn 2, and today we're going to be opening a couple of repack products. I found these at a nearby antique mall recently, and I thought they looked interesting. You can see here they are just your clear hard plastic cases. I like to call them jewel cases. Just makes it sound a little bit nicer, but they are in fact just your hard plastic cases. And what would you say? Maybe, maybe around 75 cards or so. The antique mall I was at, pretty big. 300 plus booths, a lot of it had sports memorabilia, some individual cards for sale, um, some junk wax packs that were anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar each, but these are really what uh, drew my attention. The only thing that's different from how I seen them in the showcase was the price tag has been taken off. That's just how the mall uh, keeps track of what they owe each uh, owner of the booth, so... Otherwise, this is exactly how I seen it. If you would have seen these, what, what would you have thought? Would you have been tempted to pick them up or, or not? So the first thing people would say is the rubber band. Rubber bands and cards do not mix, but these are around the case itself, so the cards are perfectly fine. Uh, the basketball, this one was labeled Assorted Modern NBA Cards. It was $24.00. And this one was a sorted modern baseball cards, and it was $14. So let's just take a look, see if we get anywhere near that value back. I'll just put some of the better cards aside, and we'll we'll just see here at the end. Let's let's start with baseball. Looking at the cross section, you can see a lot of cards that are bowing, so I would anticipate a lot of chrome cards here which is nice the cases themselves with supplies being in demand probably get a dollar or so for the cases on their own so let's just kind of do it about a half of a stack at a time so we got a Kikuchi Chapman Julio Rodriguez not a first but big time prospect there's a chrome of Castellanos Going to be starting in the All-Star game. Tiger there, but he is now a red. It's a nice Mookie Betts. Set that one aside. And Irvin Santana. There's a nice Aaron Judge insert. We'll, we'll put that aside. Starting the All-Star game as well. Aaron Judge. Yon Mankata. Will Wilson, it's kind of nice. We got a Shinsu Chu. What is that, just a rainbow foil? Nice Chris Davis, is that a refractor? It is. He's been having a rough go of it the last few years, but it is nice to get a refractor. Byron Buxton was having a great year. Injuries really keeping him down all right so the first stack not too bad about what about what I was expecting we got a Noah Syndergaard Derek Jeter but these are just base cards Jack Flaherty Brandon Crawford here's a nice one this one's probably my favorite card so far. A nice Shohei Otani. What was this, the 2030? I forget what the actual name on this was, but it was in last year's Topps release, but really nice cards. Shohei Otani, possibly on his way to an AL, AL MVP, and he's going to be starting the All-Star game as well as the DH. That was a Juan Soto. Always put his cards aside. Real nice Clayton Kershaw there. We'll put it aside. And a Mondesi. Last stack of the baseball. I like that it's primarily going to be chrome here. Dansby Swanson. There's a Aaron Nola Refractor. Freshman Flash. I think this is the first rookie card, which... Is a little disappointing. I would have hoped for more rookies, but we'll put that aside. AJ Puck, rookie. 
Max Scherzer, Aaron Savali rookie. He was having a very nice year, but he as well is injured. And we've got some landscape cards. All right, so that's it for the baseball. So these were kind of the ones I set aside. I thought were probably probably the best of the bunch. We've got that Savali and Puck. Those were the only two rookie cards. I'd like to see more rookie cards out of this, but a nice Kershaw there. Just a Juan Soto Tops Now insert. And still probably my favorite card of that whole case was that Shohei Otani. So, all right. So for $14, honestly, that one, not too bad. Now let's do basketball. You see Trey Young there. On the top. Feels like there's more cards in here for some reason. So there's probably not as many chrome cards. I don't know. Just feels like there's more cards here. So we've got that Trey Young to start. The nice Bradley Beal. I'll put him aside. These are nice. The NBA hoops. Do they call these chrome or, I guess, okay, premium stock? I don't open nearly as much basketball as I do baseball, so forgive me. And if I miss something, let me know. I like that card. That's Mosaic, Al Hortford. Nice gold team, Paul George, Clay Thompson. A Sabonis Revolution Vortex. Really cool inserts. Really like that card. Porzingis. Kevin Love. Alright, next stack. It's kind of a cool Kevin Durant. What is that? Panini Contenders Draft Picks 2016. We'll set that one aside. Collegiate Connections. Is it Ben Simmons? There's Tim Duncan. I like Tim Duncan. We'll put him aside. Paul George. Anthony Davis. There's a cool card. Zero Gravity. Julius Irving. Another Bradley Beal. Lou Williams. Revolution. Brooke Lopez, and we're into just some base cards. There's a nice acetate, Carl Anthony Towns. It's a cool card. All right, so our last stack looks like this is typically just going to be some. Some base cards, but maybe we'll get lucky and find some rookies. Mike Conley. Kevin Porter Jr. Power in the paint. Kind of a nice card. Mike Conley. All right, so the noticeable omission to me in either of these is a lack of rookie cards. I think for a lot of people, let's before we say that, let's just take a look here. I just set these cards aside, not necessarily saying that they're the most valuable, but they're the ones that I probably liked the most. Not a lot of rookie cards, and most people are going to collect rookie cards, so if you're going to do something like this, maybe take that into account. I know you don't want to you know, risk giving away rookie cards too cheap, and then the player has a great year, great career, but you got to include more rookie cards. I think between these two stacks, again, between the two with tax, it was like $40, and I only recall seeing two rookie cards, but overall, not terrible value. If you're just looking to find some cards and you're not having luck at Walmart or online with Target, wherever, 
maybe go out, give your local antique mall, flea market, whatever, a try, and pick up some repacks like this, or just see what they have to offer. So, thanks everyone for checking the channel out. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And hit that thumbs up. I would also appreciate that. Hope to see you all in the next one, and take care.